Oops. Your magical moon message. This is the piece of dealer. Peace. Moon in Taurus, Sun in Leo. Y'all. Y'all. Let. Let. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Welcome to the completion of this Leo season. All the work you've done to strengthen the will of your life force and energy is coming into completion. You want to be very excited for this because this is manifesting the complete quality of your energy. And the function of this is understanding the natural strength on your person with which you can harness this. The moon's gonna go over Jupiter, it's gonna go over Uranus, then we're going to sextile it with the moon in Gemini, which will change our mental understanding because we will experience increased strength, vitality, and quality of will, okay? What that's gonna look like is unexpected windfalls of income, unconventional new means to make money, the 10th house is the house of career and reputation. So let's go a little bit back so we can go over the math and science. We've been having new moons at the end of the zodiac sign. So unlike as is usual, where we have it at the beginning of a zodiac sign, have the full moon in the middle, and then we complete and then start the new moon in the beginning, what we've been doing is somewhat similar to preparing everything beforehand, and then once it's complete, we initiate with the new moon at the end of the cycle. So of course we activated the psychic power in cancer that developed the fuel to be charged in energy. If you think that the fuel you put in your car gets converted to energy so that it can power your vehicle, right? If you think about clean energy solutions, fuel energy, these are fixed sign aspects of quality and energy where even the type of gas you put in your car has different qualities and certain cars can't accept lesser qualities. This is an analogy for your own energy that flows through your body. It's the spirit that gives life to your body. If you were just a body, you would be a lifeless puppet. It's the spirit that animates your body and we can say this spirit is ruled by the sun in Leo. So with that being said, this power we activated, we've now integrated and we are completing the harvest of this energy so that once we get into the new moon in Leo, we're activating this new cycle of life force energy, of courage, of boldness, of your talents. So now that we're completing this transit, if you think about this like an energy grid, everything is starting to be set in place so that once this energy grid is done, we push start the new moon in Leo and then we convert that activation of energy and courage and passion into the integration and perfection of behavior and routine. Everything moving forward from this moon in Taurus transit is bringing into a completion new talents that you're getting ready to activate so that coming into the rest of the summer season, you can perfect them. And through this perfection of Virgo, we step into our mastery into Libra and go through the eclipse. So things will start to get a bit more dramatic, but a lot more fun. I told you Leo season is not going to disappoint on the drama. I live under a rock, so I'm waking up to find people sharing this news about the Avengers in Alabama and people showing up. Guys, this is Leo season drama. Like, it's not going anywhere. You're going to see this intensifying extremity as soon as Pluto goes back into Aquarius. But I want to talk to you about why this one transit is going to innovate the game for you before we change the game again Virgo season a lot of this game changer is going to be a practical expression of enhanced energy and power that you integrate into your lifestyle to enhance the quality of your lifestyle but as we get there it's important to understand that this manifestation of natural value and quality is strengthening the nature 
of how boldly you express your talents. This is not only completing this cycle to engineer this here, but with the moon going through Jupiter and Uranus, you're gonna understand the quality of innovation that's not only expanding how much more you can do in a less amount of time, but it's going to innovate and make obsolete everything you were doing up into this point in light of a greater development of talents and skills and abilities that make more efficient how it is you accomplish and do what you do. So if we harvested the knowledge of your energy in Aquarius, and then we transformed the belief that enables you to direct your consciousness and identity, align more with your destiny, the results for that are this moon Taurus, moon Gemini, and moon Cancer which will be the threefold completion arc of this Leo season. So we had the activation with the new moon in Cancer. We had the integration with the moon in Scorpio, square the sun in Leo. Then we had the harvest and full moon with the opposition with the moon in Aqua. And now we're having a completion with the 270 or 210 degree angle probably 270, I've been saying 210, 270 degree angle with the moon in Taurus. This moon in Taurus exact square is your high score. This is the results of the quality of what you've harvested and you're going to measure those results practically by understanding the real world value and appraisal of your own life force energy what kind of value it attracts towards you with the receptivity of the moon and you're literally understanding its worth relative to now based on this how you can continue to master this in virgo so if your high score you realize relative to your strength of intent nets you maybe like a thousand dollars then and that's just a horrible example you can perfect this through Virgo based on that to turn it into 5,000 over time. But this is not necessarily about getting upset or, or disappointed or over overly enjoyed about the results. These results are just a really good indicator of where to base our further progress on especially once again with the trine that the moon will be making to virgo with mercury and with mars will help you immediately take this understanding of this value you've completed and instantly direct how to make more physical sense of it to actually express the details of how to use it of how to draw from its value and this is where unexpectedly you may come into so much more money and value that will change the way you approach how it is you make money, how it is you come into value, and how it is you engineer the utilization of your own energy to convert into anything material that you may want relative to your skills and how you behave through, of course, engineering this connection. The trying to Pluto retrograde and Capricorn will just intensify more the power you've awakened in its understanding of how you ground it through your five physical senses. And I feel like once again, a transit that's completing this connection and, and these cycles are putting you in more of a position than ever to really engineer the supernatural quality of the extra dimensional energy and vibrations that with the metaphysical connection to Neptune and Saturn and Pisces, you can literally draw from imagination to now make more limitless everything that's possible for you. Be very, very mindful about people's jaundiced beliefs. There is a lot of emotion and bias based on false narratives that we've been fed over the past three years. You can see this in the way thousands of people are being gaslighted to remember the events of the past three years as something it was not being made to feel like the decisions you made in order to maintain your own individuality and sovereignty were, were, were just bullshit and that, you know, you were just some kind of conspiracy theorist and you weren't trying to comply with the bullshit that was being spread in your face. This is a perfect period to stand your ground. Despite, and you'll know, see, you'll know who actually knows what they're saying because in 
arguing with the truth you express, do they undermine your value by hitting you with ad hominems and insulting your character? Or do they present you with facts? Someone who doesn't disagree with what you're saying can just present you with facts to change your behavior. That's called Virgo. And it, 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 that's why this is detached. Debate is Libra and Virgo. It does not involve emotion. To the extent where people have to hurl emotional insults, that's not a projection of you. They're stupid little bitches. They do not in their own mind have the ability to factually prove or express what's happening. And so because they don't they're, they can't accept reality, they have to insult you, which you have nothing to do with the point you're making. And that's something to keep in mind. It's a litmus test to let you know whether you are connecting with somebody who is in their feelings and can't accept reality versus people who are very well aware of the bullshit that is happening uh, across humanity during the end of the world. Don't necessarily give in to the false ethos and authority that people put out there to take advantage of that position and lie to you. It is up to you to enable your own discernment. And remember, there are unseen metaphysical principles at bay that are more real than everything that you see physically. Neither believe it or not. All right. And this is where in the engineering of your utilization of the law of assumption and being in that end state really holding space naturally to sense physically how much more confident you are and how much more stronger you have become the evolution with jupiter is going to expand what more success is possible for you to achieve so it's definitely a great period to take risks the full card is uranus in the tarot and to really put yourself out there in unconventional and eccentric ways that pioneer new fields of study new fields of expression once again Everyone always likes to act like they know more than others, but their actions will always give them away to the extent where you have to put other people down in order to put up your point. You're not saying shit. <laughs> you're full of shit and you don't know what you're saying to the extent with which you can objectively respect or at least honor people's viewpoints that you don't even agree with just by expressing facts so that that can speak for itself. That's the measure of who knows what they actually know. So don't get caught up here wasting time with people who you trigger inadvertently just by being your authentic self. And more than ever with the Virgo opposition of Pisces, people who are just unable to accept reality in certain cases that go against their beliefs. Let this moon in Taurus ground everything that's real for you so that this could be the foundation with which you move forward in. But once again, now that Venus is retrograding, the moon that's going to be squaring this and the sun is going to once again remind you of Jupiter that is squaring the sun and the seeds you planted with the conjunction in Aries are breaking through the ground, showing you greater growth and also showing you the extra room that you could develop the next level of your talents. Moving forward, this is going to add much more of a hyper-practical nature to how supernatural your actions are. And this is where you're going to be more noticeable of this versus just getting caught in a synchronicity loop, not entirely knowing what unconscious aspect of you facilitated the experience. By the time the moon is in Gemini, you're going to have an intellectual understanding of everything that's been happening for the past two weeks and your place in it and how much to engineer the mastery of it as we move into Virgo season. So I would get really excited about this. You want to keep an open mind because this is going to open the space for you to move in a different direction concerning how to really beef up your finances, new income streams, a new way to approach your career, a new way to actually brand your career, your persona, how you put yourself out there socially. And once again, don't necessarily be take personal projections of people's insecurities because such fixed stubborn energy like this can really highlight polarizing views and if you remember that none of this shit matters at all and this is all just an illusion and distraction it will help you discern between what's important 
and worth it to invest your energy in and what's just a waste of time what's just people really just springboarding their perceptions in a reality that's not locally here remember you are not locally here so like there's nothing in the 3d that should really fuck you up to the point where you're you're angry you know what i mean like you're investing energy in an illusion all right remember the 4d the imagination within is the only reality that you project through here and it doesn't have to make sense you make sense of it through your perception i hope you enjoy this transit i hope you enjoy the unexpected victories that come as a result godspeed ladies and gentlemen